Hey everybody, Chris Polk, Polk Pattern Calls. Just going to give you a little tutorial on my 5-in-1 whistles. This is how to blow them to get a note other than just presenting regular straight air. you got to put a little voice into it to, uh, to accomplish the mallard and the catwalk. So as I'm blowing into the call, you're not just blowing straight air, it's more of a hum, uh, a low-pitched hum of air. Sounds a little like this. So as what I'm saying into the call is, I'm putting vibration and air and blowing it as hard or as soft as you want, but you got to add a little vibration, a little inflection into it to get that hum. Gadwall, same note, just a little different cadence. That knocks out the gadwall. The teal, just little peeps. Tongue, pressed on the back of the top of the teeth and the roof of the mouth. And just little tick, 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 tick. Little ticks of air. That knocks out your teal. Your widgeon, start high and drop low. Uh, either a two or three note sequence. <laughs> That knocks out your widgeon. Now to accomplish your pintail, you got to cover the end hole. This is just a little air hole. This doesn't really throw the note. This is the note hole on top. But to get the deeper tone for the flutter of the pintail, you hold the end, and then you got to flutter the tongue. Just a little flutter, a little ticking of the tongue. That knocks out the penny, and that takes care of all five of your species. Thanks a lot.